So when it comes to electrical work, there are pretty much three essential tools that pretty much everybody needs in order to do any kind of troubleshooting, repairs, or replacements. That involves a multimeter, non-contact voltage detector, and an outlet tester. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is, how it works, how it can take the place of these other three tools, demonstrate for you the additional feature that it offers that none of these have, and if you find that you already know about this tool, we'll stick around anyways because I'm going to show you some features that I'm willing to bet you probably don't realize it's capable of doing. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so just really briefly going over each one of these, as you know, this is a multimeter. This is, of course, capable of checking your voltages, AC and DC. If you're able to separate everything out, it can check amperages, but this is definitely more of an upgrade multimeter it's capable of doing a lot of things that your standard ones are not capable of doing for instance such as taking capacitance measurements and things of that nature so if you wanted to check the levels of a capacitor for instance you could do that with this it can read out microfarads but you get the gist this is a multimeter and it's capable of taking pretty much all the electrical readings that you would need this, of course, is a non-contact voltage detector. It's just as the name implies, you're able to take this pen and put it into, say, a junction box or somewhere where you're trying to read whether there's voltage present or not. And then once this senses voltage, or I should say it's detecting the electromagnetic field around the wiring. Once it detects that voltage, though, it's going to give a beep. And on this one, it actually flashes a light, letting you know that there is voltage present. So a very cool tool, very helpful tool, especially when it comes to troubleshooting. And then this is an outlet tester. They, of course, come in different models. This one actually has a digital screen on it so that when you plug this into an outlet, it's going to let you know not only what the voltage is on this one, but all of your outlet testers are going to tell you whether or not the wire wiring was done correctly and if it wasn't it's going to tell you what is wrong with it and what needs to be fixed so also a very very handy tool so what is the tool that can pretty much do everything that these three tools can do here that would be this tool right here this is a clamp meter or a clamp multimeter now this particular one has pretty much all of the features that you would ever want in a multimeter and then some but i can talk about this all day but let's go ahead and actually demonstrate how this can do the functions of each one of these three devices right here and then after we get done comparing this to these three devices we're also going to talk about whether or not it's practical to just rely on this one device here or possibly have a combination of them. All right, so here is a classic example of where a multimeter really comes into play. We've got an outlet box here. We've got two black wires coming out. And for instance, in this case, we need to figure out which one of these wires is hot. So a lot of times that's where people will depend on a multimeter. So I'll just set this over here to voltage alternating current. And I do have power flowing through these wires right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my first probe, my black probe, I'm gonna put it on one of the ground wires that's in the box. Then my red probe is mounted to my multimeter here. And I'm gonna to touch it to one of these black wires to see if we've got voltage. If we do, we should come up with around 120 volts. Okay, so that one is not showing any voltage. So let's check the other one. And as you can see, it is showing 119 volts. So again, very classic use for your standard multimeter. But now let me show you how the clamp meter can do the same thing. Now, each one of your clamp meters, as you see, I don't have any probes or wires coming out of it, but each one of them does come with their own set of probes and wires, and those just get inserted into the bottom of the clamp meter. So just like on the other multimeter, we're going to select voltage alternating current on the clamp meter here. So I'm just going to take my first probe, touch it to the ground again, take my second probe and touch it to the wire I know is the hot wire. And as you can see again, we're coming up with 119 volts. But now let's say we wanted to check the continuity of something. That's finding out whether or not two points are connected on the same line. Or in this case, I've got a contactor here from an AC unit, and these two sides are connected by a coil. So this is a test that a lot of AC techs do to check contactors to see whether or not they're good and that coil is still in good condition. But of course, this goes for pretty much anything that you're wanting to find out whether there's a break in a line. So of course, on my multimeter, I'll switch it over over to continuity. And then once I touch the probe to this side, I should hear an audible noise. And the number that's showing up on the multimeter, those are our ohms or our resistance levels. So another really great function of a multimeter. But then if we take the clamp multimeter and we put it onto the continuity setting, then take one probe like we did with the other one, put it on one side, take the other probe. We're getting that audible noise again. 
and it's also showing us how many ohms it's reading. Another nice function that multimeters are capable of doing is checking capacitance. So maybe we've got a capacitor in our AC and we wanna see what its microfarad levels are and whether or not it's still good. Now in this particular capacitor, this is a 70 and five microfarad capacitor. 70 is for the compressor side and five is for the fan side. This can easily be done by switching the multimeter over to our resistance again. But we also have some different modes here that we can select in order to get to capacitance. So we wanna select Select that, get our multimeter set to detecting capacitance. There we go, it's showing nanofarads, it's an auto. So once it detects microfarads, it'll switch over. So just really quickly, we're gonna look for within 10% of 70. So I'll just touch one probe to the common side, one probe to the Herm side. And as you can see, we're getting 72 microfarads. And of course we could check the fan side as well, but that's not what this video is about. So now I'll take my clamp meter, I need to get it also set to detecting capacitance. There we go. So again, I'll touch one probe to the common, one to the Herm, we're looking for within 10% of 70. And as you can see again, we're getting 72.4, 72.3, in that area, microfarads. So you get the picture. This clamp multimeter is capable of doing pretty much everything that your standard multimeter is with these probes attached to it. There are things that most people have no need for. So if you were to compare this to more of a basic multimeter, this is gonna be way better than most of your basic multimeters. But now let's check out how it can do the job of a non-contact voltage detector. This is oftentimes where a non-contact voltage detector is oftentimes used. So we'll just go ahead and turn this on. And so now all we need to do with this, this is gonna sense the presence of electricity around the wires if voltage is present. So all I need to do is stick this in the box and not only is this gonna give me an audible alert, but once it detects voltage, this green light's gonna turn red. So as you can see, it very easily can tell us that we have voltage present here. And if we're wanting to work on this box, of course, we still need to turn off the circuit breaker before we get in here. It can also be helpful in locating where a hot wire is, of course, but these are usually more so used for troubleshooting issues and things of that nature to where you're not completely depending on this device to let you know whether or not voltage is present or not before working on it. Now we'll take our clamp meter and this can also detect voltage like the non-contact voltage detector because there's one built into it. Now I have it set over here to voltage alternating current, but I can't just put it up along there to see whether or not there is voltage. But when I do this test to be able to locate where any voltage might be, I wanna make sure that I'm getting this nodule that's up here on top, kind of point that in where I'm wanting to detect. And in order to access the non-contact voltage function on this, I just need to hold down this little orange button right here. Now it's in non-contact voltage mode. And now all I need to do, just like I did with the pen a moment ago, is point this into the box where I'm wanting to see whether or not there's voltage. So as you can see, we're getting a red light here when it's detecting voltage, and we're getting that audible sound as well. So I'll show you again. So that is a super cool and handy feature that they've added into this clamp meter. Now, not all clamp meters are gonna have that functionality. So if that is something you're interested in and in having in your clamp meter, you'll wanna make sure that it has that feature already before you buy it. And of course, like always, I'll have links for this clamp meter along with all of the other devices that you'll see in this video. I'll have links for everything down in the description down below. So when you click on those links, it'll take you directly to what you're looking for so you can check it all out for yourself. All right, so now let's talk about the outlet tester. So again, this outlet tester is designed to let us know whether everything was wired up properly. And on this particular one, it will actually show us the voltage that's present with an outlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And now go ahead and plug this in. So as you can see, it's letting us know that we've got 121 volts here at this receptacle. And look right here, it's showing that we have an open ground. So this is actually able to detect if there's a wiring issue. In this case, there's no ground present on this receptacle. So that's a good thing to know when you're hooking up outlets, whether or not all of your wiring was done properly. And that way, you know what you need to go back and fix. And as you can see, there's this red light down here that's showing that we have a fault, and that's because we have an open ground. Now, this can also detect a reverse polarity type situation where the hot wires got put on the neutral side and vice versa, along with some other things as well. All right, so now I've fixed the grounding issue, I think. So I'll go ahead and plug this in. And as you can see, it's showing us our voltage again, and now it's saying correct with a green light. So it's letting us know that all the wiring was hooked up properly. So this is a tool that I feel like is just a must have, 
and I'll show you here in just a second how the clamp meter can compete in some of these areas. All right, so if we're wanting to check whether there's voltage at a receptacle like we did with the outlet tester, we can do that very easily with a multimeter or this clamp meter. We got our settings set over here to voltage, alternating current. And so now in this case, we need to take both of our probes and insert them into each side of the receptacle. Now, unfortunately, this is a tamper resistant receptacle, so it takes a little bit more finesse, but we'll get it in there. So there you go. As you can see, we're getting 120 volts. Now on the multimeter, it's also showing how many Hertz it is, which it's at 60 Hertz, which is very standard for residential here in the United States. But here's a case of where the clamp meter is able to do at least one of the jobs of one of the other tools. So ultimately, can the clamp meter replace the outlet tester? Yes and no. Yes, in the way that it can detect voltage, just like the outlet tester can, it's very easy to do. No, in the sense that while it can test for, say, an open ground, having it on the correct settings, it can also detect some of the other issues that this can pick up, but the outlet tester is gonna be able to do it a whole lot faster all at once. All you have to do is plug this in as opposed to needing to know all the different things you need to do with this multimeter and in order to find those other things. So that's why I still highly, highly recommend, especially for the DIYer, to have one of these outlet testers because they're gonna give you a lot of peace of mind knowing that your wiring is done correctly. They're also gonna be able to give you a lot of very valuable information and they're gonna be able to do it really, really quickly. So, so far out of everything I've shown you so far, this is really the only one where I still recommend having this extra tool because again, while the clamp meter could technically replace it, I don't really feel like this is replaceable. So now while you can see that this can totally replace some of those tools and work in conjunction with another, now let's get to the added feature that none of the others have and this one does and that is the clamping function. And this is such a helpful tool in so many different instances. So in this case, we're standing in front of this window AC our power cord is right down there. So what a lot of people will wanna know is how much amperage their particular device or appliance is pulling. So we'll just go ahead, turn our clamp meter on to amperage alternating current. Then we'll just take our clamp meter, put it around that cord. And as you can see, it's not showing us any amperage. And a lot of people will be like, well, why is it not working? It's supposed to be able to detect the amperage that's running through this cord. That's the whole point of the clamp. Well, the way that this works is everything needs to be separated out. In this cord is not just the wire that is supplying the power to this AC unit, the neutrals in there and the ground wires in there. So you can't just test an appliance or whatever it is that you're wanting to test to find out what its amperage is if all those are bundled together. But I will show you a way that you can get around this to where you can check your amperage with this clamp meter on your standard appliances. What you could do if you're wanting to figure out what the amperage is, is you could go to the receptacle that whatever it is that you're wanting to test is plugged into, remove it from the wall like I have it right here, because now all of our wires are isolated here for the most part, they're not bound together. Now I can take my clamp meter, put it to amperage alternating current, and then all I need to do is put that clamp around the wire that's supplying the power. And as you can see, that air conditioner currently is pulling 3.17 amps. Or what can be considered an easier way of doing this, instead of having to remove the receptacle or whatever it is that you're wanting to test to see what the amperage is, you can just leave it screwed in just the way that it is. And a lot of times, if you buy one of the kits that these clamp meters come in, oftentimes you're going to get one of these. This is a splitter. Now, these aren't always included in the kits and they can be bought separately and it might be worth doing so just depends on what you're wanting to do. But the way that this works is just like the name for it. It's a splitter. It is splitting out the two different sides of the receptacle. So all you need to do is plug that into the receptacle. Then you would take the plug of whatever it is that you're wanting to get the amperage reading on, plug that into the splitter. So now we can take our clamp meter with it still set to amperage alternating current open up the clamp and just put it around one side of one of the halves of that splitter. And in this case, it's on the line side. And as you can see, the multimeter is reading 61.4 amps. Now, the thing with this is, is what I have plugged into this is a window AC. That window AC is not using 61.4 amps. When you use one of these splitters in a 120 volt application here, it actually multiplies the amperage by 10. So in order to get a correct reading as to whatever it is that you're trying to check, you need to take that amperage reading and divide it by 10. So in all actuality, the amperage reading of that window AC unit is right at 6.2 amps, not 62 amps. 
So that is a really cool capability of these clamp meters that your standard multimeter just is not capable of doing, or at least not as easily or well. And just showing you here on the splitter where it's actually telling you that the amperage reading is going to be times 10 and it's going to be a maximum of 15 amps. So a very cool and practical tool. So with a regular multimeter, this would be very hard to do in order to measure how much amperage we have here. We'd have to break everything away and create a point to where we can actually test it. This is much safer, much faster, and in my opinion, an incredibly valuable function that your standard multimeter just does not offer. So it's for all those reasons, I highly recommend this particular clamp meter. If you don't need all of the added functions like inrush or checking capacitance for that instance, or maybe you just want one or the other, there a lot of different models out there. So I'll have links for all of those along with all of the other testers that you saw in this video. I'll have links for everything down in the description down below. When you click on those links, it'll take you directly to whatever it is that you're looking for so you can check them all out for yourself. And now this is just more of a bonus tip. If you're in a situation where you need to know how much amperage or wattage a bunch of your appliances are taking and you don't want to have to unscrew all the outlets out of the box in order to test them, you very well might want to get one of these meters right here. These are super easy to use. They're very inexpensive and then give you a lot of information because all you have to do is plug them into the receptacle then you take the power cord of whatever it is that you're wanting to find out how much wattage it's pulling. Just plug it into this outlet down here on the bottom of this meter. And now instantly you can see in real time just how many watts, whatever it is you plugged into it, is pulling at that given time. So in this case right now, I just have a fan plugged into this. So this is pulling 14 watts. You can also figure out what your kilowatt hours are, what your voltage is, how many hertz it is, your power factor. And with some things inputted, this thing can also figure up about how much that appliance is costing you, amongst a bunch of other functions as well. So I thought I'd just show this to you because it can also be helpful. Now, if you found value in this video, then you'll definitely find value in this video right over here, where I go over some things that not a whole lot of homeowners know about, but they really probably should. If that's of interest to you, all you do is click on it and it will take you directly to it. So I hope that you found value in this video. And if you did, if you could do me a huge favor hit that thumbs up button right down below and of course if you have any questions or comments still you can leave those down in the comment section and i'll catch you all in the next one see ya